thank you to Play On and Critical Hit Games for sponsoring this video. We have had a ton of games come and go over the years, both on the AAA gaming front with big game titles hitting our libraries, and even down to the plethora of the amazing indie titles that have released within just the last five years alone too. And here again in 2024, it happens with critical hit games and play on's title called Nobody Wants to Die. What makes this title unique compared to other indie developed titles on the market is that not only does it look extremely high budget for an indie title with the size of the studio, but that it is also running on Unreal Engine 5. It can definitely make you pull out the Matrix, whoa, gasp in amazement with the detail that has gone into the making of this game. But yeah, okay, small team making big, pretty looking game is cool and all. Cool cat level cool even. But what else makes this game special or gives you a keen incentive to make a purchase on it? Well, its story, premise, and gameplay is what sells it, giving vibes of a cyberpunk title or even harkening back to the Xbox 360 days of Condemned Criminal Origins, however with a way better initial string to reel you in with and wrap you around its finger. Taking place in the futuristic New York City of 2329, we as players get to examine this forever changed world as we play from the perspective of James Cara, a police detective who has become invested and consumed to the core of his being regarding a murder case he was placed on. Similar to myself, when being consumed by Poco deals when it's announced pizza is on sale for a limited time of buy one get one free, but way less dire than a murder case at least. What seems like a normal murder case on face value though in his regular day job soon turns remarkably confusing and eerie when it's discovered that it involves a victim whose consciousness could not be transferred to a new body. The heck? You mean like the old theory of how humans used to live on Mars and then when Mars was about to be destroyed, we who lived on Mars sent our consciousness to the nearest planet of Earth in order to save our spiritual beings and live on? No, no, that's not what's going on here. It's much more sinister, at least considering what this futuristic city is like. Setting you up in a noir-like adventure, as stated, you as a player are transported into an alternate future where technology reigns supreme over humanity and has granted and given humans eternal life by storing their thoughts and consciousness in general in memory banks or, in this case, which if failed, between bodies, as long as they're able to afford the payment and subscription to do so. Subscription-based immortality? And here we are crying about $15 a month for Netflix, only to waste five hours scrolling for something to watch and then never actually watch anything. We have it pretty easy, guys. It's a mystery that leaves you guessing and scratching your head as James and his partner Sarah dive even deeper into the ongoing investigation and uncover more than they bargained for with dark secrets that can even potentially lead to the city's highest elites. By utilizing your forensic tools like a UV scanner, X-ray scanner, or even Reconstructor, which is a device that can piece together events to make them either more coherent or help you to collect pieces that help you gather even more evidence in order to discover just who is behind the murder in this case, or in general in the future. When I tell you this title is an immersion-focused experience, I am not exaggerating. Dropping you into a game setting where the game's visuals make you feel like a mix of the 1930s noir old-style detective films, as well as seamlessly integrating the futuristic dystopian era that is filled even with flying cars. But thankfully, no George Jetson to be found. You are quick to become engrossed in your environment as you scan, look around for clues, take photos and try to piece together every single detail you can find, even if some of the images can be a tad bit disturbing. It makes you want to explore around your area, want to look for blood trails, scan everything and look for whatever you can because Play On and Critical Hit Games attempts to do what a lot of developers fail at doing, which is making the player feel like a part of the environment and setting they're in, rather than just being placed into it. Huge difference between the two. The title, while it tries to make you feel like a detective from the future, also sometimes has you doing some self-reflecting, mostly about our humanity itself. What happens if society disintegrates so much to the extent that belief systems are abandoned, religious systems abandoned, moral compasses are thrown aside, and instead those fade away to the point where humanity shifts its focus only to prolong our own life so that we can try to live forever, but with the catch of the government controlling and auctioning us off as cattle? 
It's deep stuff for sure, and that's why early on here in Nobody Wants to Die, we have a thought-provoking narrative. Intertwined with an immersive environment and great forensic tools to help us focus on solving the mysteries that surrounds the daily life of both James and Sarah. Although I too wish I had my memory stored in a memory bank somewhere so that I can remember just what the heck I went into the kitchen for. I literally get up to go get something for the kitchen and then end up standing there like an idiot thinking, wait, what the heck was I in here for again? And then 20 minutes after sitting back down, go, oh, now I remember. So yeah, memory saves would do me a lot of good right about now. Whatever ends up happening after the game wraps up to the end credits, what Play On and Critical Hit games are at least attempting to do here with Nobody Wants to Die is admirable and a case of extreme risk-taking and ambition, and hopefully at the end when all is said and done, they achieve their goal of this title being a success. But of course, to know the answer to that, there's only one way to find out, and that's to purchase the game yourself, you big silly. With a world with mortality being a thing of the past, will you as a player be able to discern right from wrong and confront the consequences of society that now lays at your feet? Make that decision by purchasing Nobody Wants to Die on PC, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series XS. Available now.